One of my favorite parts about Windows 7 and Windows 8 is the fact that you can quickly resize windows to full screen, half screen left, or half screen right. Now, Better Snap Tool takes this and much more and brings it to the Mac. I'm Alex Bavalsik from HowToDoTech.com, and today we're looking at how to resize windows quicker in Mac OS X. So we're going to be using Better Snap Tool the entire time, and this is a paid app in the Mac OS X store. Now this app will cost $2, so not too expensive, but it won't be costing you too much, and it's definitely a great buy if you value resizing Windows faster. Now we know that Mac OS X has this green dot that technically will resize the window, but it's kind of hard to predict what that's going to do. So Better Snap Tool allows you to drag windows to different areas of your screen or bring up a menu that will allow you to resize a window to an amount you want. So before we actually use this, I want to go into the general settings real quick and go through a couple more settings just so we understand what this is going to do. First of all, we can choose where we're going to snap our windows. If you snap it to the top, it will go full screen. Snapping to the right will do the right half. Left will do left half. And then these corners will put it in one fourth of the screen for that corner. I prefer not to have the corner, so I have those unselected. One of the cool things is using Better Snap Tool with spaces or mission control could be a problem if they did not have this button. So what you might encounter is when you want to snap a window to the side of your screen, whether it be the left or the right, you'll accidentally move it a space over instead of snapping it there, and that could be really annoying. So if you use this with uh, spaces or mission control, you tap this, and it gives you a little code you need to put into terminal. And what that will do is it will delay the amount of time before it switches to the next space over. Now, I don't have this problem, and I don't know if that's because of the version of OS X I'm running, or if it's just something specific with my computer settings. But if you do have that problem, you'll just want to do that. Now, under customizations, these are going to be more of aesthetic things. It even says appearance and preview above. Um, you do have some advanced settings that really aren't too advanced, so we'll go over these real quick. The appearance is going to be the look of the snapping window. So if I drag this to the top right now to go full screen, we see a gray snapping window as well as a white border around that with some curved edges. So I'm going to minimize that once again, and we can see that I can change the border color, change the background color, border width, the animation that came out, the snapping window kind of just appeared. You don't have to have that. And uh, the rounded corners, how rounded those are. So your appearances are pretty basic. The advanced setting uh, will disable snap tool while you're holding one of these keyboard shortcuts. You could delay before snapping and restore old window size after it's dragged away. This might be something popular with you, but normally if I have it full screen, I'm just going to leave it that way. Also, we have um, empty space around the edges, so if you want full screen but not completely full screen, it will center it uh, with a certain amount of space, or if you're going left or right, it will keep it away from the edges with a certain amount of space. And if you find that you're dragging it up but it's not grabbing your window fast enough, you can increase the snap snapping recognition area with this setting right here. So I'm just going to X this out for now, and we're going to open up Chrome once again so I can show you the different snapping tools. So as you saw before, going fully up to the top, we'll snap it full screen. Uh, I'm going to make it smaller again, and we'll go to the right now, half screen right, and uh, full screen once again. We'll make it even smaller, and half screen left. So pretty simple, go back to full screen. Now if I want to change it with even more settings, you can set a specific keyboard shortcut. I have mine set to Command Alt Z, and this will bring up a menu where my mouse is. And this menu is going to allow me to resize the window however I choose with these settings. Now these settings can be customized in the menu we were just at. So I'm going to do top half, and now the window's top half. Do my keyboard shortcut again, I can center it, and when it's center it, it's not going to resize the window, it's just going to take the size you have. So if I had something like this, I could center it once again, and it will center it with the same size. I can also do left third, or even uh, restoring old size and position from before I did my snapping. So I'm going to go back to full screen. Now as you saw, there are more things that I can do, like if I had another monitor, I can move this to the next monitor over, which is very nice, and you can also go to preferences right from this uh, menu right here if you don't want to do it from the menu up above. 
and as you saw keyboard shortcuts I set my personal keyboard shortcut up there and these are all the different settings that you can make come out of that menu I highly suggest unchecking the ones you're not going to use it really makes the menu a lot easier to navigate now let's go into snapping areas and for this I'm going to be using my reminders so I like this reminders window size I think this is a pretty good size to keep whenever I'm looking at the reminders window but I might accidentally resize it to something different so I'm going to hit the menu bar icon right at the top this is not required but I certainly suggest it and I can hit snapping areas and create a new snapping area so it's gonna look at the windows that are open and I can choose a snapping area right here now not only will it choose this window it will also choose this position so make sure you have this in the position you want before you snap it so I'm gonna select that and I think this is pretty good now what I can do is create a little snapping dragging area um, It's kind of hard to explain but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drag this window after I finish to wherever this little area is and it will automatically resize the window to this size and I'll show you later now of course you can name it whatever you want so I'm gonna name this reminders since I will always be using this for reminders I'm going to resize this so it's not too big because I don't want to accidentally put the window on it when I don't want it there so I'm gonna try to make that as small as possible I'm gonna keep with my grayish look that I liked a lot more I'm just gonna get that from right here I think that's pretty good that gray and finally I can go to other settings here maybe things like keyboard shortcuts um, to automatically trigger this area or keyboard shortcuts that will ignore this area so you don't accidentally snap to it and finally what you want to do is drag this to the position where you're going to snap it from I'm gonna do the top or the bottom right corner this sounds like something I would not accidentally put a window in and from here I'm just gonna click uh, command and W to exit it so now what you're gonna see is I'm gonna drag the reminders window and automatically reminders pops up I put it right there and it shows me that's where reminders is gonna go you can do this as many times as you want you could technically fill your desktop which is why that keyboard shortcut that allows you to ignore those snapping areas could be very helpful so once again I'm going to go and this time I'm gonna hit snapping areas and edit already snapping uh, snapping areas that already exist this way I could change reminders in some way if I wanted to or get rid of it completely by hitting that X so this is the quick snap tool I find it incredibly helpful so we hope you have enjoyed this video from how to do tech if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. We do ask that if you have a question, you leave the device you're using as well as the operating system along with your question. How to Do Tech is on Google Plus and Facebook, so feel free to circle us and like us there. You can also ask us questions on those social media profiles. Click on the annotations now to go to any one of our videos or playlists. You can also click the links in the description to go to all of our playlists. Don't forget to like and subscribe.